All right, flashback to May 22nd, 2015, four Shut years ago. Phone, phone, phone. Adam the Woo, S'mores Oreo, limited edition S'mores Oreo. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. You saw it, little Back to the Future montage, May 22nd, 2015, patriotic endorsement, uh, American flag in the back, uh, checking out the limited edition S'mores Oreo. Well, almost to the day, four years later, look at this. S'mores Oreo are back. That is correct. I will probably be linking that video below, and who knows, as you watch this, you may get some cutaways, some more Back to the Future uh, special effects that take you back to that day uh, to see what I liked about this cookie or what I did not like about this cookie. But it's back, and I wanted to revisit it because this was, I believe, the first time. Is it still the first and only time? No, they've done something else. I don't know. My mind is playing tricks on me ghetto boys but i think this was at the time the first time that oreo did not do the golden oreo or the chocolate oreo because this cookie is actually graham cracker flavored it's a graham cracker cookie with marshmallow and chocolate filling it's limited edition it's also in the 10.7 ounce uh container i got this for two dollars and 98 cents at walmart all the others that were the one of the bigger ones 14 ounce uh containers we always talk about this they were still 298 so these limited edition ones are are uh, smaller you're going to get less but you're going to pay the same thanks Nabisco so uh, let's not waste any time let's open it up and see if this conjures up uh, good memories mediocre memories or some sad memories of the uh, limited edition s'mores Oreo let's check it out so I'm guessing it's gonna be maybe that yin yang pattern that you've seen in the past with the uh, Reese's peanut butter cup and with the cotton candy the blue and red but um, we're gonna dive into these all right check them out there they are you see the marshmallow and the chocolate on the inside and the graham cracker uh cookies right there so let's take one of these out and uh show it to you check it out right there there it is and there is the graham cracker cookie so had adjustment yeah i don't know a little bit of graham, a little bit of uh, cinnamon maybe, uh, but let's check out the uh, inside there. There is the chocolate, and again, uh, there is the marshmallow that they are saying. I'm hoping that this is marshmallow and not their standard white uh, Oreo cream filling. So let's uh, check it out. There we go. Wish me luck. All right, so... I believe this does taste better, uh, the filling that is, than it did uh, four years ago for me, meaning that the chocolate, I tasted the chocolate, and the uh, white filling actually did uh, taste like marshmallow a little bit. It still was so much uh, sugar going on there. It was really, really sweet. It was kind of hard to process, but on its own, without the graham cracker cookie, it was not bad. So uh, we're going to give the graham cracker cookie a try by itself, and let's see if this really stands out uh, differently than the a uh, golden Oreo. All right, so after taking one bite of this, it is different than the golden Oreo, but at the same time, I mean, it doesn't really come and hit you in the face with a uh, graham cracker and like the cinnamon and the flavor. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like if you eat a graham cracker, you know you're eating a graham cracker. You also know that you're going to need something to drink when you are eating a graham cracker. So, um, Something about this, it's different, but it doesn't say graham cracker over the top to me. So let's finish it though. But I was hoping that the graham cracker is gonna be more graham crackery. Hashtag made up word, Google it. But um, hope you enjoyed that little flashback from uh, 2015. Cleaning the palate. All right, let's try the uh, full cookie right now. I don't know, I'm on the fence with these. All right, so I will say 
I enjoy it better with the cookie, but this still does not scream uh, s'more to me. Um, there's something missing. I mean, when you have that full effect of being at the campfire and getting the s'more, I mean, there's nothing that's going to duplicate that. I'm not going to get too crazy with Oreo not coming correct with the 100% replication of a uh, s'more Oreo, but at the same time, the uh, marshmallow is such a predominant uh, piece of the puzzle for a s'more as well as the chocolate. I mean, everything works in conjunction with each other and you have that warmness to it. That something is lacking for me in this. I don't 100% get the marshmallow. I get a little hints of the chocolate. And like I said, this cookie is different than the golden Oreo, but at the same time does not scream uh, graham cracker to me. So it's there. It's graham crackery. Uh, I don't know. I think I might've said something like that in the original video. It's graham crackery, but at the same time, it's an okay uh, cookie. It's good. I will eat the rest of these. I will share them. Uh, the kids would love these. But at the same time, I'm just not uh, loving these to the point where they're going to be maybe up here. They might be up here. Who knows? They may be down here, but I'm going to give them a rating in a minute. Stick around. Yeah. Hey, uh, 2015 endorsement. What do you think? It's a good cookie. Is it a s'more? Nah. I don't know. So, is it a good cookie? Give it to your kids, put it in their lunch box, lunch bag, whatever the kids do nowadays. Um, would they like it? Of course. Do I like these? Yes. Will this bag be eaten? Oh, yes. All right, so we're back. Uh, I hope the 2015 endorsement was enjoying this a little bit better than me. Something in my brain tells me he did not. But uh, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of who? I'm going to give the returning S'mores Oreo a rating of. Ah, this is a tough one. I'm going to give that. Oh, so tough. That's an 81. I think it's an 81. I did get some marshmallow flavor when I tried it by itself. It is a good cookie and it does remind me of s'mores, but at the same time, it just is not hitting every single mark that I would like for it to be a legit s'mores cookie. So there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. That's a Daniel San wax on and wax off. Karate Kid. So yeah. In closing, uh, leave some comments below. Did you try these five years ago? Are you happy they are back? I think Starbucks actually re-released their s'mores uh, frap. Uh, so if you like s'mores, this tis the season, I guess, with the summer coming up, campfires and such. But uh, I was a little bit disappointed in that. It's still a good cookie. It just is not 100% giving me the s'mores vibe. And you know, summertime, we need the s'mores vibe. You know what I'm saying? All right, Tyler, you asked for it. I'm showing you the beverage. Check it out. It already made a cameo in the video, but I'm giving it another uh, bonus footage look because you asked for it. You want to see the beverages in the bonus footage. I gave it to you. I don't think I did on the last one. Did I give it on the last one? I'm not sure. But in this one, there you go. Tyler, bonus footage. It's my beverage. Duncan. Not bad. You ever go to bed Christmas Eve and then wake up Christmas Day? And Christmas didn't happen. That'd be very disappointing. If you really anticipated something and it left you wanting more, yeah, I'm gonna give it one more try. But man, I, uh, I don't think it hits the mark on s'more. And uh, that's my two cents. All right, one shot as it's crumbling in my hand. I just love the texture of that, how it softens. That's what she said. So there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. And we'll see you soon with another review. What do you want from me?